it's Melissa from Silhouette School. How are you today? I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Today I'm going to share a little trick with you. It's an advanced setting in Silhouette Studio, but do not fear because it's advanced. It's actually very easy to do. It is the cut by line color and it's really, really great to use. Ah, that is awkward. That was super awkward. Okay, anyway, it's a really great tool to use when you are doing things like stickers. Um, if you want to cut out a small um, portion of your design at one setting and then have, say, a kiss cut at the other. Okay, kiss cut is when the blade cuts through one layer but not the other. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be flipping you back and forth so that you can kind of see what my Silhouette Studio looks like versus what the printed um, a print and cuts look like. So this is what my printed paper, sticker paper looks like. I use, this is the uh, standard matte white from online labels, no um, slice in the back. And I like to use the online labels because they have the cut settings perfect for Silhouette Studio and Silhouette Cameo, excuse me, right on their website. So they tell you exactly what to do and it works really well. Okay, so let me flip you around to tell you how I got to this point, then how I got to this point, and then how I got to this point. Okay. Okay, so here's Silhouette Studio. So what you can see is that I have laid out my design, okay? Now, if I go... Um, to the cut window here, you can see that I have put these boxes, which is because I want to make smaller um, sheets of my stickers. I have put them around each set, okay? Now, if you are selling sticker sheets, you might also want to do just one large box around the whole thing basically to just trim off those registration marks. But let's say you're doing these as um, little favors for your child's birthday party. Okay, so what you can see here is that the design itself has a cut line that's red. So I have gone in and selected all of the actual designs, okay, the cactus, the computer screen, and the scooter, and turned that, those lines to red. Then, when I drew this box, I made that line color green, okay? The line color is up here between line style and offset along the top toolbar. Okay, now, the lines are not going to print, and the reason the lines are not going to print is because they do not have a weight. Okay, so if you ever run into a situation where you're like, why are my lines not printing? It's because you have the thickness here as zero. That's also sometimes why fonts that are not filled in will not print. All right, so as you can see, this is how it printed. No red lines, no green lines. Okay, all right, so how did I get it to cut green at a thicker or at a deeper cutting than the red? Well, I went over here to my cut settings, and the first thing... If you are on standard, which is what you are usually on, um, you won't have those options. If you click advanced, that's where you will see layer, line color, and fill color. So we want to cut by line color, okay? And we're only going to cut, first I like to cut the red, okay? That's the kiss cut. That's the part of the design that you don't want to cut all the way through, the actual stickers. Okay, so because I'm using online labels, I go over to their website, and I will throw up this link on Facebook as soon as we're done the live. But basically, they have listed all of their materials and then the exact cut settings. So you want to keep it on a blade of two, and then if you're using the kiss cut, which I would not suggest using without the cutting mat, so just skip right over that. So for the actual stickers, we want our thickness to be three. So go back to Silhouette Studio, and on the red, oops, let me move you back over here. You can see that I have red selected, but not green. The, from the material type, you want to click white sticker paper, and then this is where you're going to go down, and you're going to adjust the thickness back to three, which is what they recommend. Okay, so when I did that, it cut my stickers. Now let me show you. I've already pulled some of these off of here just to demo. So basically, it cut around the cactus, the Inspire, and uh, the scooter, okay? Now, after your silhouette cameo or portrait or whatever you're using does that, 
do not remove it from your machine, okay? Do not remove it. Because what you need to do now is you need to make a second pass, and that's when you're going to cut the green, and you're going to go back to the cut settings, uncheck red, so it's no longer cutting red, it's only going to cut green, okay? You're going to go back to online labels and see that to get the full cut with the mat, you need to adjust the thickness to 16. That's where you're going to scroll down, adjust the thickness to 16, and actually I would recommend a double cut here. Um, depending on your blade, I cut five sheets of chipboard yesterday, so I needed a double cut. And when you do that and send it back through, that is where you will get your machine to cut, whoop, just like that, where the little mini one will come off. Okay, now let me turn you back around. Sorry, I know that was kind of like I threw a lot there at you, but basically, so this was the green line at 16, thickness, two blade, and the inside, the little stickers were at three thickness, I think it was, and it's still a two blade. Those were the red lines, okay? So basically you're gonna use the line cut, cut by line color. That's why those line colors come into play. You're gonna use that and you can make, um, you can basically customize and do one or two passes and be able to use different cut settings on your same print and cut. Again, the reason I like the online labels is because they tell you exactly um, the perfect cut settings for both the full thickness and the kiss cut. They've done all the work for you. And um, the sh I like that the sheets do not have the sl splice through because then they don't get stuck to the paper and accidentally pull the backing off. I mean, stuck to the cutting mat and accidentally pull the backing off. Okay, guys. Well, I think that that about covers it. If you are interested, I will throw up the link for um, the white mat sticker paper. I will also throw up the link to get all those cut settings from online labels. And uh, I think that's it. I hope you guys learned a uh, thing or two. And if you have any questions, because I know I, the way that I have my iPad set up to do this, I can see there's questions coming through, but I can't actually read them because of the way my holder holds my iPad. But anyway. Okay, so I will go back and answer any questions in the comments now. And I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I will see you hopefully Friday.